going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're going to be setting up this tank. So this is my first tank I have had now for over about a year and a half. So not obviously new to me now, I know what I'm doing with this tank, so I'm really excited to get this uh, tank set up. But yeah, it's the first tank I've had for ages, so obviously I had to go and get all new bits for it. But I just want a massive shout out to ND Aquatics for actually gifting me this tank. So it's a three foot, it's three by two by two, so it's around about 320 litres, something like that, with the filter, maybe like 350, roughly, something like that. So quite a nice size tank, but yeah, really looking forward to getting this out. But ND actually gifted me this tank, um, really nice one to do that, to get me back on my feet, ready to go. Um, and another massive shout out to Fluval, which have, um, they sent me a brand new FX4. We've got this Fluval FX UVC inline clarifier to use as well. I've never used one of these, so I'm looking forward to setting this up. And they sent me a couple of um, things of bug bites, which gets me going. And a big box of this stuff, I love this stuff. This is Bio FX, so really porous, um, really good for beneficial bacteria. So thanks so much for all of that. Honestly, you've done me a massive turn. It's gonna help me massively get this tank up and running. Because obviously this stuff is expensive, do you know what I mean? To buy all in one here. And another company, NT Labs as well. NT Labs have sent me a box of goodies here. I haven't actually had a proper look. So product um, catalog book with all their new bits and bobs in it. They sent me a glass cleaner, algae sponge, um, lots of food, some little scaping tweezers and bits and bobs, um, and a testing kit in there. So there's lots of uh, bits and bobs here. I'm quite looking forward to using all these. These are, I think these are new products as well from NT Labs, all the tweezers and stuff. So this is obviously for the scaping, aquascaping tools, so loads of bits, but go check out their website, it's all on there. And there's, um, like I said, some food. Cichlid Green 33, and there is Cichlid Red 48, because they know I'm doing some cichlids in this tank. So, yeah, thanks so much all you guys, all you companies for sending me this stuff, honestly, it's a massive help, and um, get me back on my feet. And um, Fish Planet London, when I um, visited there, I don't know if you watched that video, it's got a good video to watch. Visit there a probably a couple of weeks ago now. They um, gifted me these when I filmed the shot. So Hikari Cichlid Gold, we've got Hari, Hikari Cichlid XL. So really, um, really nice of you to do that for me, I really appreciate it. But anyway guys, um, yeah, we're setting the tank up today. So I have pre-fitted the FX4 with my normal route of um, the biological filtration. So let me just show you. I try not to drop it below the floor. So I'd done a video on an FX6 years ago, basically doing this. Can you see that? So this is the bio FX stuff here, which is full to the brim on this top tray. Obviously I'm gonna put a filter wall on top of that. And then the second tray here, they've got this pad on it, which it comes with as well. And then I've got another whole load, look, of the bio FX as well. So I'm gonna have loads of biological filtration on this FX4. So that is really good to know, and um, that's just how I've always done it. But like I said, I've done an FX6 video on that, showing you how to, um, how to load up the FX6 with the biological filtration, and um, just maximize, maximize your filtration on the tank and stuff, because, um, Fantastic filters, the fluid weapon stuff. I, I think it's um, it's the best filter on the market for us. Yeah, the FX6, FX4, and the FX2. Um, they fit loads of stuff in, but when you actually buy the filters um, from new, they don't give you enough biological filtration for the actual filter. You can literally load these things up and they will hold so much media in it. So, check out that other video. That was like three, four years ago, maybe I've done that video on the FX6. Um, so go check that out, it's quite interesting. And it'll basically show you how to do it, it's nice and easy to do. It's quite time consuming, it's quite therapeutic doing it though, as long as you've got no screaming kids about it, you sort of concentrate and um, yeah, get on with it. But anyway, let's, um, let's get this uh, three foot tank set up. The lighting system I'm using on this is a Kessel A80, which is this one here. So it's a Kessel A80 Tuna Blue. Um, first time I've actually used Kessel stuff, 
But I don't know if you remember the video I filmed with the Lake Malawi tank. It was like a six by two by two. He had three kettles on it and it gave a fantastic shimmer in the water. So I'm really looking forward to getting that on this tank as well. So yeah, um, they didn't send me this, I actually bought this. So if Kessel are watching this video, I do want to get another light on this tank, so yeah. The heater I'm going to use is um, it's an Inkbird. So I've never used this before either, so this is the first for me. Um, so it's an Inkbird heater, so it's going to be a little bit different than what I normally use. So I just wanted to try a new, a new few things out on a tank. So yeah, Inkbird heater. Um, what else have we got to go on this tank then? I'm pretty sure that's it. We think we've covered all bases. So yeah. This is new, I've never used one of these, so I'm looking forward to setting this up. But I've got myself a plug in here. I don't know if you can see it, there's a plug here, which has got loads of leads on it, ready to go. I'm going to put the FX4 in here with the plug. All the other stuff is going to go on here. I might get my drill off, and then um, because there's some controllers and stuff, I want to get everything neat and tidy and cable tie all the stuff and bits and bobs up. But um, I'm probably going to film this video over two days, because my wife's just gone out with the kids now. For a couple of hours, so I've got a couple of hours to spend on this. But yeah, let's um let's get going. So first of all, I'm gonna get the FX all plumbed in stuff. So obviously you've got the pipe work around here, so you need to take all of this off. Don't go cutting any pipe work yet until you've got your filter in place and your heads, the inlet and outlet in place, and you know where to cut this stuff. Because once you've cut it, it's game over if you've done it wrong, and you have to go out and buy a whole new um hose pipe kit, and I think they're about, I think they're about 25 feet, something like that, so you don't really want to be messing around. So don't go cutting this yet until you've got it all in place. But um, yeah, let's get going and see how much we can get done with in a couple of hours. Right everyone, that's the FX all plumbed in, ready to go. Quick tip, um, get yourself a little Sharpie, or you can use some masking tape or something, right out and in on your pipe work. So when you're doing your maintenance, you're taking both of them off. You're not like, oh man, which one goes where? Do you know what I mean? So, just a quick tip, out and in. Obviously, put them in the right thing so you know where they're going. But yeah, it just saves a lot of um, stress later on. Because if you plug that one into there, that one into there, turn your filter on, it'll just, yeah, it'll just hate it and it'll just go, it'll mess your tank up completely. But that's the FX in. The um, inline clarifier, um, I'm gonna mess about this another day. We'll do another video setting this up on this tank, so I'm going to leave this in the cabinet for now, but um, I need to read through that to be honest, I haven't had a good look through that, so I don't really know what I'm doing with that. But yeah, that's it, FX falls in, um, I'm going to start doing the heater and bits and bobs now. Um, it's entirely up to you when you're setting one of these up, how tight you want your pipe work. I don't like a lot of pipe work sort of dangling at the back of the tank, because um, the water's going to not get stuck in it, but it takes more time for the water to get through the pipe work into the filter, so I like the filter to have the shortest amount of pipe work I could have, um, but just be really careful. This is what I've cut off that whole length of pipe work. Look, so I've cut basically that much off, yeah? But um, it's all different on different size tanks, like a six foot tank, if you were running like one of these or two of these or whatever, you need to be a little bit careful because obviously you want the inlet at the other side, the outlet at the other side, so just be a bit careful. I've got my inlet on this side, so the water's gonna go bosh that way, through the pipe work into there, it's going to be pumped back out this side, so the water's going to be pushing back this way. Because I will probably fit maybe a wave pump on this tank later on, um, and I will fit the wave pump to here, so it's pushing all of the dirty water back to the inlet, putting it back into the filter. So yeah, let's get this heater all plumbed in, um, all plugged in, ready to go. Um, and we can mess about with the scape as well, and I'll show you the grids which I've put at the bottom here. But yeah, we're getting there. So I've just opened up the, um, the heater, but I've just realized it's actually a temperature controller, I'm pretty sure. There's no heating element at all in it. I think these are just um, probes which you put in the water um, and it tells you what temperature your tank is like to a precision. Um, so yeah, really annoying, I bought the wrong thing off Amazon. So, oh well, I'll probably use it anyway, I'll use it for something. So it's still here, so yeah, I need to go out and get myself a heater. I'll probably just go out and get a fluval one because they're nice and easy to use. Um, but yeah, how annoying. But um, I've got a fish shop about 20 minutes from me, so it gives me a bit of an excuse to go out this afternoon. But yeah, that's not getting plugged in. So with the tank itself, the scape, I've bought this um, this press, uh, plastic, it's basically like a tank divider stuff, it's like a grid. Um, and it basically is gonna help the bottom of the tank to not get damaged from the big stones and rocks I'm putting in there. So I'm gonna do like a middle scape on this, 
pull the sand in and uh, yeah it's just going to help massively with the bottom of the tank not getting damaged so quick tip it's about a 10 off amazon something like that so if you're scraping tanks it's well easy to put in there you just cut it and put it into what size you want um i've got i think i've got eight bits for tenner 9.99 something like that it was roughly so not too bad at all but yeah if you're scraping tanks it's well worth it so this is the sort of scape i'm sort of going to go for i've just put some rocks in add a little move around but i think it looks pretty cool there's quite a few nice hiding places for the smaller fish and stuff um, obviously i'm going to add the sand in a minute but just want to mess about with the rocks and these are actually rocks i had in my garden for ages um, so i got them out of the flower pits a few weeks ago give them a wash and they've sat on my patio for the last few weeks getting washed by the rain but i think it looks pretty cool so the fish are sort of swimming in and out here um, I just need to be a little bit careful with dead spots and stuff. I may open up this little bit um, so water can sort of flow through there as well. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Decent little tools these, look. NT Lab stuff, it's well nice little tool. It's quite a few different ones in there I need to go through. But that is pretty much um, where I kind of want it. Obviously I can add some more sand if I want to, but I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know how bad the glare is right now with the doors I've got there. I, um, I'll show you the tank at night when it's all set up and the lights are on it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's gone. Obviously, I'm not happy I haven't got a heater, but um, I'm gonna go out and get one in a minute. But that is uh, that is near enough there. I'm gonna put the pelmet back on now. Um, yeah, go and get myself a heater. But like I said, I'll do a separate video on the clarifier, wherever that is. I think I put it in that box there. But yeah, it's, uh, it's getting there. We are nearly there. So looking forward to getting this one set up. Um, like I said, I'm going for some lake tank and neeking. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm getting better at pronouncing that now. Um, so probably something like a Trophius, I reckon, something like that. Um, maybe like an, a, yeah, I think it's called an Orange Banded Trophius. Roughly something like that, I'm pretty sure the name is. But um, we're getting there, guys. Let's, um, let's get the rest of this done and get some water in it soon. Also, I forgot to say, the sand I'm using is um, a JBL River Sand. So it's Sansid Bar JBL River Sand. Um, I use this on quite a few of my tanks um, in the past. It's really nice stuff. What I found about it is, well, you haven't really got to wash it. Um, some sand you buy and they are, oh, they're mucky. But this isn't too bad. I've sort of added it in there. Obviously, it's going to mess the water up, but the filter will do its job and um, clean through that. But yeah, it's JBL River Sand. There's so many different types. There's um, Snow White, White Sand, River Sand. There's black sand, there's red sand. But yeah, I just found it's really good stuff and the fish love it as well, so. Now this is a massive quick tip for everyone. So these can be quite stiff to get on and off, yeah? So when you wanna get yourself some grease. I've got some petroleum jelly here. You shouldn't really use this. Um, you should go and get yourself like an aquarium one. They're doing an aquarium one. But for now, I'm gonna put this on. It just helps these come on and off. And sometimes they're quite hard to pull off. And obviously when you're pulling them off, it's putting strain and stress on all the little gubbins and um, gaskets and stuff like that. So. Get yourself some decent grease. I think you can get it from Amazon. Um, I've only got this on me for now, so I'm gonna use this. Just literally rub it around here, um, and it helps you get these on and off. I actually done a video a few years ago now how to stop these from leaking, because they're quite expensive to buy, and if you actually take them apart, clean out the gas and get all the sand out. I've done a video on it, watch it. Um, grease them back up, it stops the leak, so it should save you a bit of money. So I'm gonna get this done. Everything's escaped, ready to go. I'm gonna quickly fly up to um, a fish shop if there's one still open it's like four o'clock on a sunday right now um but yeah and then um, i'm gonna get some water in this tonight because i really want to get this filled up because then we can get the fish ordered right i just made it i've made it by like five minutes so i've got myself fluval e300 um i've used these for years they're always reliable they're really easy to adjust um I've never had any issues with them got a digital display up there they're not cheap that was 50 quid um but yeah had to be done i need a heater for the tank and I've got some filter wall wires there. I've actually ordered some off Amazon, but it's not coming for a couple of days. So I'll just quickly go about this. This is a tenner. So this is going to sit on top of the first tray of the FX4. So the water's going to run around the cylinder like that, back through into this, into all the biological filtration, back out into the tank. Easy setup um, to do, and it's really effective. So let's get this banged on. I'm going to do it on the inlet side, that side there. Um, because obviously the flow of the inlet is going to help this heat up the water basically um, because they can be a bit finicky these heaters they say LF on them which is low flow um, so yeah you want them by somewhere where it's got a lot of flow so inlets like on an FX6 well FX4 is pretty good sorry that's my dog in the background 
uh, moaning at me. But um, yeah, I want to get this set up today. Um, I'm probably going to add a wave maker on it later on and maybe an airstone, but at least I can get this um, with the water in it today, get it set up, ready to go, ready for fish, and we can add them bits later on, which is always fun to do as well. So um, yeah, let's, um, let's get this done. Okay, another little quick tip for um, the FX series. There's a gasket that runs all the way around here. Look, I don't know if you can see it, there's a gasket that goes all the way around there. It's actually, it's pre-put in there. So if you really like to get like, not something sharp, just poke around and you should feel there's a gasket in there. Look, I can squeeze the gasket. Double check it's in there. Obviously it's gonna be if you bought a brand new one, but if you bought a second hand one of these, if the gasket's not in there, as soon as you turn that on, it will literally just flood the whole camera. So be really careful. So when you do these up here, these will push that gasket tight down onto this seal here and make a secure seal so you won't get any leaks or anything like that. But just double check that. Um, and this is how I'm setting it up. So I'll open up this bag. Right, so I've never used this stuff. It's just super fish stuff. It's all very similar. Um, and I'll literally get, I'll tear a bit off like this. And that will sit on top just like that. So water's gonna go around the sponges first, and then it's gonna come back up through, around the sponges, back up through into here, and then keep your, it's gonna keep your biological filtration nice and clean without stuff going all over it. Obviously you're gonna get a bit of poo and stuff, and if you're keeping wood, you get a fair bit of wood and stuff like that. If you've got plecos that eat the wood, but um, it just fine tunes the water, and you can replace this whenever you clean out your filter. Sometimes a lot of people just turn the FX's off, lift the lids off it, rip that out, put the new one on, put the head back on it, job done. Because these should really last, I say three to six months, depending on your stock, depending on how big your tank is, but that's personally what I say. Um, obviously when I was running the FX's on the 10 foot tank I had there, um, the tank was pretty overstocked. Um, I had a lot of big fish in it and I used to do a lot of big feeds. So I was cleaning them out like every four weeks, so big job cleaning them out, but um, it works well. But yeah, let's, um, let's get it done. Okay, another little quick tip. Um, always put your canisters, if you've got a cabinet, um, well, if you've got them on the floor as well, on like a towel. Um, when you pull these off, sometimes the water can drip down and um, you don't want it damaging the cabinet. Plus, when you've got them off, all you have to do is pull the towel and the canister comes out, it's a lot easier. Um, I've pre-primed this, so I've put some water in it, because obviously it's a brand new canister. Um, there's no water in the pipework or anything like that, so it's going to um, suffer to gather the water, you know, um, for the gravity to gather it into there for now. But yeah, the tank's ready to go. I'm going to put the pellet back on now, the light on. Um, I'm going to dig out my old um, Python uh, pipework, which I've got out in the garage somewhere, and start filling it up. Do you know what? I've missed it so much, like ridiculously. Like doing this tank today, scaping this, messing about with sand and stuff, messing about with filters, I've really missed it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting this tank up and running and then um, getting some fish in it. I cannot wait, honestly, guys. So um, yeah, let's add the water. And um, my kids are going to be back in about half an hour, so I will show the rest of the video tonight once um, the water's sort of settled down a bit and the light's all on um, and it looks really cool in the night. So. Yeah, let's get it done. Right, everyone, tank's filling up. Nice. It's not going to take long, I don't think, for another 15 minutes or so, something like that. But what I forgot to mention earlier, when you're pushing your tank towards the wall, if that makes sense from there, always allow a little bit extra room in case you want to add more stuff or mess about, mess about with the uh, filter hairs and stuff like that. Or you'll be like kicking yourself because you'd have to drain the whole tank down and uh, yeah, and start off from fresh really, it'd be really annoying. So just double check the tanks in the right area where you want it, um, and then start to fill it. So just go around it and have a good look, make sure everything's symmetrical, like I've done. And yeah, jobs are good and Right everyone, we're nearly there. You can see the shimmer off the light. Look at the shimmer, it's mad. So um, I'm well happy with it so far. Um, tank's filling up lovely now. The heat is saying it's 15.5, that's normal. Um, I'm gonna add some um, filter start in a sec from NT Labs, which they've sent me. So this is going in the tank in a sec. And I've got some tap water safe, which I'm gonna put in there in a minute. Um, but yeah, we are nearly there. Look, what do you reckon on scape? Well, obviously I'm gonna show you later, but you might be able to see it from there as well. But that blue shimmer light, that, that blue kettle light is giving such a shimmer off the water here. It looks incredible, and I'm so pleased with it. Honestly, I can't tell you how excited I am for this tank. Like, 
I've been at fish for like nearly a year and a half now. I haven't had any at all. So yeah, this is a this is good fun for me. Another thing as well. Um, obviously, you've got a uh, torch on your iPhone. Just go around now, having a little look around the filter head and all the bits and bobs because what it'll do is it'll show, it, um, show any leaks and stuff like that. So just go around. I'm sure there won't be, but just go around having a good little look um, just to be safe. Not sorry, um, but yeah, we are nearly there. So let's come back in a few hours. See what I mean about the sand? I didn't really have to um, wash it out. This sand's pretty clean. Look, normally if you put sand in tanks like right now, um, it would be absolutely horrendous. Obviously I haven't mixed the bat in the sand, but um, normally it'd be like you wouldn't be able to see into the water. But yeah, let's come back in a few hours. Okay, it's all done. The missus just got back and the kids are upstairs and she's putting them to sleep. But I've got a quick few minutes just to show you around the tank. But the FX4 is probably the most silentest filter I've ever heard. Look, listen, listen, don't know if you can hear it in the video. It's silent, honestly. You can hear it a tiny little bit. But it's so quiet, I can't believe it. The FX6s didn't used to be that quiet, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I used to get a fair bit of a drone off my FX6s, but the FX4 is like really quiet. The tank has gone up to 16 degrees now, so it's nowhere near ready for fish or anything. But um, yeah, we're going to let it cycle for a few days now. I've added that stuff into it. But obviously, I'm getting the bubbles and the glass. Um, which is normal, that will go when the tank starts to heat up. But yeah, what do you think of the um, of the scaping stuff I've done to it? I think it looks quite nice. And even the wife said it was um, quite a pretty tank, so I'm pretty pleased with it. Really excited now to get some fish added to it. But yeah, that's the um, that's it, done. It's the video done for today. Um, don't know what else to sort of say about it. We're gonna start adding fish probably next week. Um, my mate has still got a few of my bristlenose plecos in one of his tank tanks and he lives um, just down the road so he's going to give me one of them this week which I'm going to add in the tank start speeding up the cycle process but thanks so much for watching everyone like and subscribe to the channel um, ding notification bell and keep it real everyone